So your question number 14. So he is saying that there is a rod so of mass m. So mass of the rod is capital M. So mass of the rod is given as capital M. And this rod is hinged at a distance L by 3 from one end and it's 2L by 3. So total length of the rod is L. It is hinged at a distance L by 3 from E and A. He is saying that so this rod is supported by two springs whose stiffness is K. Stiffness of this rod is K. Stiffness of this spring is K. So mass of the rod is M and this rod is supported by so two springs which is a hinge at a distance L by 3 from E and A. So he is saying that so if mass of the rod is M, he is placing a point mass so at E and B. So mass of this particle is small m. So he is saying that so if M is M by 4, if this is the situation. So if I disturb this particular rod, this rod oscillates so about this particular hint. So he is asking us to get the frequency of those oscillations. So it's very simple if you write the force equilibrium equation so for this system, so you can write, you can develop a mathematical model. Once mathematical model is known, you just compare that mathematical model with SHM equation. So from there you can get the value of omega n. Now see here, so I am disturbing the system. So I just disturb the system, I pull the system down, I left the system. So now the rod is oscillating to and fro about the hinge. So the moment when I saw the rod, so the rod is making a small angle theta with respect to its mean position. You can see this is a theta, so this distance is nothing but 2L by 3 times theta. I can say this is so 2L by 3 times theta. You can see spring is compressed by this much amount. So when the spring is compressed by this much amount, so there is a spring force in this direction that is K into so 2L by 3 times theta. Now you can see the spring got stretched. So when the spring is stretched, so the spring tries to push pull back the rod the spring is pulling back the rod, so if this is theta, so this will be theta, this is L by 3, I can say this is L by 3 times theta. So there will be a spring force K into L by 3 times theta in downward direction. So I disturb the system in this direction, due to this spring force, due to this spring force and due to this spring force, so there is an unbalanced couple and that unbalanced couple is trying to restore the original position for the rod. So. So I can use dl numbers principle. So dl numbers principle, whenever a body is acted upon by some number of forces and the body is moving in certain direction. So if you add dl numbers of force to that, so then net force becomes zero. The same way is coupled. So a body is rotating. So for that rotating body, so there are some external couples acting on the body and making that body to rotate. So for that body, if you know angular acceleration, you can add dl numbers couple and then you can say dl numbers couple plus external couples is zero. Here also the same thing is happening, due to these two forces there are two unbalanced external couples. So to those external couples, so if I add the elements, uh, what we said, the elements couple, I can say net couple on this particular rod is zero. So by using that the elements principle, so I can develop a mathematical model, I reduce that mathematical model into a system equation form. Now see here, so due to this force, due to this force, so there is a couple in this direction, I can say it is trying to rotate the rod in counterclockwise direction. So this is the force into this the distance, I can say the couple is k into so L by 3 whole square times theta. k L by 3 theta into L by 3 I can write as so k L by 3 whole square times theta. Now you can see, so due to this force there is a couple in the same direction. So magnitude of couple is k into so 2 L by 3 whole square times theta, force times distance. So these are the two unbalanced couples. These are the two unbalanced couples. So there is no other external couple. You may think of mass and gravitational force. So gravitational force, due to the gravitational force, there will be static deflection, but there won't be any vibrations. You can say due to constant force, there won't be any vibrations. Vibrations are only due to elastic forces, and those elastic forces are produced only once you disturb the system. So I don't consider the effect of MG here. Now see here. So the system is moving in this direction. Displacement is theta, velocity is theta dot, acceleration is theta double dot. I can say the rod is accelerating in this direction with an acceleration theta double dot. So dl numbers couple, I'm adding in the opposite direction, that is i theta double dot. So dl numbers says that, so my couple plus external couples. External couples are k l square by 9 times theta plus k 4l square by 9 times theta is 0. 
So here, I is nothing but, so movement of inertia, so of entire system, so about the point about which the system is rotating. So here the system is rotating about this hinge, I need to get movement of inertia of entire system about the hinge. Now see here, so how to get movement of inertia of the entire system about the hinge? Now you see, so due to this mass m, due to this mass m, so this is a point mass which is situated at a distance 12 by 3, so I can say moment of inertia due to this mass is nothing but m r square, where r is so 12 by 3. I can say moment of inertia for entire system is nothing but moment of inertia of the rod about the hinge, I am calling the hinge as point O, about point O, plus so moment of inertia due to this point mass, so small m into the distance is 12 by 3 whole square. What is this small m? It is nothing but capital M by 4, I can write. So I is equals to, so I naught plus so M by 4, 4 L square by 9. So if I calculate moment of inertia of the rod, so I got this point, I get, so I is equals to M L square by 9 plus M L square by 9. I can say moment of inertia of the entire system is 2 M L square by 9. By using parallax theorem, you can find moment of inertia about this point O. That turns out to be ml square by 9. So now I can write this is 2 ml square by 9. So t dot double dot plus. So ml square kl square by 9 plus 4 kl square by 9. This is 5 kl square by 9. So theta this is 0. So now I can write this equation like this. So t dot double dot. This is 5k by 2m. So theta 0. You can see this equation is just similar to theta double dot plus omega n squared times theta is 0. It is your simple harmonic motion equation. So I can say natural frequency of this system is nothing but so 5k by 2m. Radian per second.